Well, Bahraini anti-regime protesters have blocked a road with burning tires outside the western village of Sa'ar. The protesters condemned the imprisonment of a prominent human rights activist Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja and demanded his immediate release. Khawaja, the co-founder of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, was sentenced to life in prison in a military court last April. He was charged with plotting to topple the Manama regime. Khawaja has been on hunger strike for the past month. Rights activists have already warned about the worsening health of the jailed opposition figure. Well, to discuss that a bit further, we're joined by Mr. Kamal Wazne, who is a political analyst, who is joining us now via satellite from Beirut. Mr. Wazne, thank you very much for joining us here on Press TV. Now, how do you assess where the Bahraini revolution stands at this point? We recently had a, a, a very large protest uh, take place in Manama and across the country, in fact. Where is the Bahraini revolution at this point, do you think? I think they are determined to carry out the mission they set for them they wanted to have a real democratic system they wanted a constitution for the country they wanted the uh, bahraini royal family to stop the aggression and the tyranny against the people they wanted the prisoner uh, that been uh, tried in military court to be released among them mr khawaja the uh, civil right uh, advocate who actually been sentenced to life in prison and who has been on uh, a strike uh, for not receiving any food or any water to that extent he he wanted even in his cell to send message to the uh, to the Bahraini royal government that your prison would not stop us from carrying the mission uh, we wanted justice and justice for all Bahraini. We will not tolerate uh, uh, the brutality and discrimination and violating uh, and violation of uh, law, whether uh, human law or international law, uh, because discrimination is something if a heinous crime is committed by the Bahraini government against the Bahraini people. Uh, just uh, Friday, we had hundreds of thousands of people. The majority of the Bahraini actually sh uh, show the world that they will not uh, push away and they will not uh, stand down from their legitimate right to have their country liberated from tyranny and to have justice w uh, be the norm and the acceptance in the land. If the United States uh, and uh, the Western world and the Saudi thinks they can intimate, intimidate the Bahraini by sending and supporting th those uh, uh, tanks that roll from Saudi Arabia into Bahrain to crack down against these uh, demonstrators, civilian demonstrators, the message was very clear. This will not uh, actually stop our uh, movement and I think they made a great uh, step uh, by uh, having really a unified leadership because you know at one point there's a couple voices in Bahrain today I think uh, they, they have one voice and the voice wanted nothing but freedom for those people. Hey, Mr. Wesley, I'd like to you know, ask you about the kind of courage that it takes for people, not only like Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja, but the likes of Nabil Rajab and even those outside of Bahrain, uh, like the Khawaja sisters, um, Maria Al Khawaja, and even Hussein Abdullah, who lives in the United States. How much courage does it take for Bahraini activists to continue speaking out, whether inside Bahrain or outside Bahrain? Well, we have to say uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a lot of courage and a lot of determination and a lot of faith and we actually expected that from the Bahraini and especially from the Bahraini women who have been like uh, been uh, like uh, uh, been showing a great uh, faith and resilient standing against the crack down of the Bahraini royal family uh, the, the Bahraini government that is backed by the fifth fleet by, by backed by the Saudi tanks, backed by the Saudi, what they call it, Saudi uh, Arab uh, 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 military militia, uh, criminal, because they're actually shooting at innocent 
civilian. When you see these uh, determined people, uh, they don't, uh, they don't uh, uh, actually being afraid or intimidated. You know that uh, they're very resilient and victory will be on their side. It's going to be some time. It's going to be costly. But uh, if, you, if you notice from the beginning, beginning of the movement up to now, we haven't seen that determination as we see it right now. Hundreds and of thousands of people actually came to the street, uh, peaceful, uh, civilized, uh, demanding their freedom. On the other hand, what they see, they see the Bahraini military shooting at them. And yesterday, uh, another demonstrator were, was, was killed by the, the, the Bahraini and the Saudi uh, police or militia that are attacking the innocent uh, uh, peaceful demonstrator. All right, Mr. Wesner, we'll have to leave it there for now. That was Mr. Kamal Wesner, political analyst, joining us via satellite from Beirut. Mr. Wesner, we appreciate your insight here at Press TV.